All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. Uh, I went ahead and uh, ordered up one of these uh, tower coolers for the uh, Raspberry Pi. Everybody's gone nuts over uh, heat sinks and fans for the Raspberry Pi, especially the four. Uh, I don't have a four at the moment, but I do have a 3B plus and uh, if you see here, this is supposed to fit uh, the 4B, 3B plus, and the 3B. So I went ahead and already got it out. It comes with a little uh, little standoff type thing that fits under here using some of this hardware. Then uh, the... Uh, <clears throat> tower cooler itself has nice little copper here these two little uh, standoffs then you have your uh, the fins here this is a 5 volt LED uh, fan um, I noticed that it has I guess a little bit of uh, deformity or damage to that so that kind of is a little bit of upsetting. Uh, has a nice smooth bottom there that will set on the uh, pie. Then it includes three of these uh, little pads here that go in between the uh, the uh, heat sink and the uh, pie itself. But I don't think I'm going to use these. I think I'm actually going to get some uh, CPU uh, uh, stuff that you would use on a uh, computer. So <clears throat> this is pretty simple to install. You just put these little standoffs on the nuts and then uh, put these two little uh, brackets on using the screws. And it came with a screwdriver, a little screwdriver, but I just used my own. Um, so I think it would be better if they would actually put two screws in these to help hold it better. I mean, not like it's going to go anywhere, but the vibration over time possibly could loosen these screws up. I guess you could put some uh, <clears throat> blue Loctite on them if really need be, I guess, if you want. Uh, so... Then this runs off of five volts. It says in the book, comes with this nice little book here, that you can run this off of 3.3 uh, uh, volts. Well, the uh, three volt uh, pins, if you want, want to. Obviously, it won't uh, move as much air and the lights won't be as bright. So, plus it would help a little bit with the power drill. Uh, so what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to take this B plus in another video and uh, run this at 100% CPU on all cores. Uh, I think I'm just going to do some mining on it just to get it really nice and warm and let it run for a little bit. Then... Uh, Go ahead and install this guy on here, which fits on here really nice. Uh, so, I mean, you know, it fits right on there really nice. Uh, it looks pretty cool, I will say that. Uh, then, like I said, this uh, plastic uh, stand type thing will go like this underneath it with these other standoffs. You just screw these in here to hold it like such. Then uh, it'll look kind of like that when it's all said and done. But uh, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is run, run it without the heat sink for a few minutes so it gets nice and warm. And uh, then uh, go ahead and mount this and do the same process and see 
if this helps and if so how much and uh, see if it's really actually worth it to uh, invest the money into uh, getting this I mean looking at it from just the appearance it is pretty cool especially on something small like the uh, pie itself but how good and how well do these work we will find out in the next video of the tower heatsink with the fan and I guess we could do one without the fan or just turn the fan off so other than that that's about it so uh, we could always do another test with the fan not powered on to see how much of a difference just the, the tower itself would make without the fan blowing some air pulling some air through it because always remember it's easier to pull air than it is to push air so all right thanks for watching stay tuned for another one